Hi everybody, today I'm doing an extra video, the second video this week because I just wanted to share the final step of drawing in Photoshop as soon as possible so that you can have some time to print your design on a Christmas card or a mug and gift it to someone special. Here in Ukraine we celebrate Christmas on the 7th of January, so we still have some time to prepare for it. But for those of you who celebrate Christmas Eve on the 24th of December, I just hope that you will have an amazing time. Anyway, I have here my Christmas tree all ready and decorated, so I fear you. So let's just go ahead and get started our final step of drawing in Photoshop. Now this is our final drawing and before we can start to color it, we will have to do a little cleanup. Let's have a look which layer we find here in our drawing. We have our final drawing layer, a rough sketch layer. We will not delete the rough sketch, because if I switch it on and off, you will see that it adds to the quality of the drawing, at least in some spaces. And the only thing that we will do is we will go into it, into our drawing, and erase some of the parts that are going too much outside of our final drawing. Like this one, and that, and here. And we will just go through the whole thing and find those spots where the rough drawing is distracting from the final drawing. In other places we keep the rough sketch. Some edges are nicely modulated by the rough sketch and we don't clean up too much. Again, the idea behind it is that our drawing should look quite organic and natural and not so much computer generated. So we make sure just that those lines that distract mostly get erased. That kind of looks like that we erased almost everything of our rough sketch. But if I turn it on and off, you will see that we have kept a lot of the rough sketch and that it is adding to the quality of our drawing. I guess that's it. Now our drawing is prepared for the coloring. But not so fast. Before we start our coloring, I want to create at least a couple of masks that will come in extremely helpful later in the process. For that, I'm selecting the lasso tool and start selecting the outline of my character's elements, like scarf. Some of you might be hesitating to create these masks when the fun of painting lies ahead, but it makes a lot of sense to create these masks before the coloring starts. Because from my experience it is quite annoying to have to create these masks later in the process when you are needing them. And then this nasty task of creating a mask comes along unexpectedly, so it's a good idea to create the masks in advance and that also is a nice ritual to do before starting to color. It's clearing up your mind, in fact to do this simple task of following the contra. Now I have finished my first mask and of course I want to save this work. I'm going to the channels and push this little icon down on here, which automatically creates an alpha channel from my selection. I can now deselect Ctrl D my selection and when I Ctrl click into the icon of my alpha channel, I will reload the selection and I can use it later in the process. Now I want to create the second mask and then the third and so on. And again we are saving our selections in the channels as an alpha channel. So our masks are ready and now we can really start to color our drawing. Now we can start coloring our illustration. And for that we are selecting the background layer and we will keep this coloring really simple by working only on one layer and pretending that we are back in the old times where there are no layers and coloring at all. We can keep our brush, but for the first wash of color I will size it up and I'm going to pick a color on the color picker and the mask we created would come in extremely helpful, so we're selecting it. We're holding down the Ctrl key and click only mask and now we can very comfortably paint inside the figure without stepping over the outlines. 
We are so happy now that we have created these masks in advance, aren't we? Although I must say that painting over the edges wouldn't be such a tragedy. In fact, in some cases we can still do some freehand painting on some elements. We also select other elements and do some quick painting on them. Now everything is starting to look the way I would imagine it. That's it! Our very simple illustration project is finished. I hope that you had fun and I hope that you learned something from it. And now it's about the time to print your design on Christmas presents since it's Christmas time. I printed our illustration and I'm giving everyone from my creative team at Art Olga these gifts that turned out to be very beautiful and also very useful. Really nice Christmas cards and a mug for someone who is into tea or coffee. And who knows, maybe you will receive some amazing gift in return as well, like I did. Look at this incredible cake that one of my clients and really good baker has created for me. This beautiful winter house, it's like our home for everybody who's helping me in my job and in creating videos for you. And also, let it be the symbol of home for all of you who enjoys creativity as well. Because we have to remember that what really matters is being creative. And creativity is what we celebrate on this channel. So this is it. This was the final step of drawing in Photoshop. And uh, you can see now how easy it is just to create these amazing Christmas presents. Uh, in a couple of few steps. It really is super easy to draw in Photoshop, especially if you use your creativity. If you use a creativity, digital drawing and graphic design in general is a pretty easy I've discovered. So anyway, happy holidays if you are celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas and I'm gonna see you next week. Bye!